Hey everyone, welcome back to Project Weekend. If you're into DIY electronics, microcontrollers, and smart automation projects, you're absolutely in the right place. Today, we're diving into something powerful and genuinely exciting. The Elecro ESP 32S3 Advanced 7-inch Display Module. This is part one of my AI-based greenhouse automation series, and trust me, you'll want to watch till the end to see how this display brings the entire smart system to life. Let's kick things off with the unboxing. The four replaceable wireless modules that come shipped with the Elecro ESP32 S3 Advanced 7. First up, we've got the ESP32 H2 wireless module. Next is the NRF2401 wireless module. Great for low power communication over short distances. Then there's the ESP32 C6 wireless module, a future proof option supporting Wi Fi 6, BLE, and Matter. And finally, my favorite the Meshtastic Wireless Module, also known as the LoRa Module. This module is open source and uses LoRa radio technology for long-range, low-power communication. It's designed for mesh networking, which means devices can talk to each other even in remote or off-grid locations. You'll also get a USB Type-C cable in the box. This is used not only to burn code into the device, but also to power it and establish serial communication during development. There's also an additional port cable for connecting external devices and peripherals, useful if you're building more complex systems. Inside the box, you'll find the stunning 7-inch touch display powered by the ESP32-S3 chip, along with mounting options for easy integration into your project enclosure or panel. And just a heads up, the device comes with factory-installed demo software so you can start exploring right away before uploading your own firmware. The screen is bright, large, and highly responsive, but it's not just a display. This module is a complete development board packed with features ideal for advanced DIY and IoT projects. Now, compared to many other displays I've worked with, the ESP32-S3 Advanced 7 is a big step forward. It's equipped with the dual-core ESP32-S3 chip, which means you get Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0, and even support for AI acceleration. That's right, AI right on the board. Here's a quick list of standout features that make this device a creator's dream. A 7-inch 800 by 480 capacitive touchscreen ESP32-S3 Room 1 module. RGB LED buzzer with an onboard LoRa slot compatible with Arduino IDE ESP IDF and LVGL for creating rich graphical UIs. It's perfect for smart dashboards, automation panels, or, as you'll see, AI-driven greenhouse control systems. With onboard audio amplifier, micro SD slot, USB Type-C for fast and easy programming, now let's carefully open the unit. Make sure to remove all screws gently. Once opened, you'll see a clean and well-labeled PCB layout designed for both beginners and pros. Let's take a moment to explore the full technical specifications of this powerhouse module. The Elecro ESP32-S3 Advanced 7. At its core is the ESP32-S3-WROOM-1-N16R8, powered by a dual-core Extensa LX7 processor running up to 240 MHz. It features 512 KB RAM, 8 MB PS RAM, 16 MB flash memory, 
ideal for large projects and smooth UI rendering. The 7-inch IPS touchscreen delivers 800 by 480 resolution, 178 degree viewing angle, 400 nits of brightness, 16 bit color depth. It's responsive, vibrant, and easy to read in various environments. Wireless capabilities include 2.4 GHz Wi Fi, 802.11 BGN, Bluetooth 5.0 with BLE optional support for LoRa, Zigbee Thread, Matter, and Wi Fi 6. It works with Arduino IDE, ESP IDF, Platform IO, and LVGGL. As for interfaces, USB C, UART, I2C, SD card, speaker out mic ports, and battery support, plus RTC, audio amp, volume control, and charging management. You've got reset and boot buttons, power and charge LEDs, support for add ons like ESP32, H2, C6, and NRF2401. It all fits into a sturdy housing. 156 by 87 millimeters active area, 181.26 by 108.36 by 16 millimeters in total size. Works in negative 20 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius. Powered via 5 volts, 2 amps, USB, or UART. This is more than just a screen. It's a smart terminal built for serious IoT and automation applications. You'll also notice the clean PCB design. There's the ESP32-S3 module, touch controller, SD card interface, speaker output, and all expansion headers laid out logically. The build quality is top-notch. No loose components, no sloppy soldering. It's clear this was designed for makers by makers. Now, a quick heads up. If you see a blank screen, no display, or flickering after uploading your code, don't panic. I ran into the same issue initially. It's just about getting familiar with the board's power and display timing. And hey, if you have issues, drop a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. Let's now move into the most exciting part, my AI-based greenhouse automation project using this very module. I open the project folder right here in Windows, and I'm using Arduino IDE for development. My code is modular and organized across multiple files, handling UI, automation logic, sensor data, and device control. Here's the dashboard I've built using LVGL graphics. It shows live sensor data like humidity, temperature, soil moisture, pH levels, water tank level. And I've added controls for drip pump, misters, fan, grow lights, water pump from the well. Everything is designed to work automatically. But the beauty is that I'm integrating AI to make smart decisions based on data trends. Now let's see how to compile and upload the Smart Greenhouse application. First, head over to the Tools menu and under Board, select ESP32, ESP32 S3 Dev Module. Next, go back to the Tools menu and choose the correct port where your device is connected. Set the flash size to 16 megabytes. Choose Partition Scheme as Huge App. And for PSRAM, select OPIPSRAM. That's important to support large UIs and buffer space. Once everything's set, hit Upload, and the code will start compiling. It might take a few seconds, depending on your computer speed. Okay, now it's uploading. Just give it a moment. And there we go. My greenhouse automation application is now running beautifully on the ESP32-S3 Advanced 7. This app is still a work in progress but I'll be covering all the details in future videos, including how to build the app step-by-step, -step, assemble the greenhouse itself, set up the irrigation system, misters, drippers, pumps, and sensors, everything you'll need to create a fully automated AI-driven greenhouse. So make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and stay tuned for part two. I even included a full settings page where users can adjust Wi-Fi settings, change automation modes, and fine-tune system behavior. You can access the system from anywhere in the world thanks to the Wi-Fi support. But I'm going even further. I'm planning to use LoRa modules to connect remote sensors and actuators in my greenhouse, which is about 200 meters from my house. That's going to eliminate wiring, prevent lightning damage, and keep everything modular and safe. This is just part one of the full greenhouse automation build.
In part two, I'll show you how the automation logic works, how AI controls your plants, and how you can make your own smart greenhouse too. Link to buy the Elecro ESP32S3. Advanced 7 is in the description. You'll also find the link to my previous video, the ESP32 terminal with OV2640 camera. Drop a comment if you run into issues, like and share this video if it helps subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss part two. Thanks for watching Project Weekend, where your weekend builds something awesome.